Hello, hello, I am alive. I have not forgotten about this YouTube channel. You may have forgotten about this YouTube channel because I haven't uploaded in forever. I feel so bad. The month of April pretty much exploded in my life. Um, April was crazy busy for me and my husband. Trevor was starting a new job, um, preparing for finals. Uh, preparing to graduate from law school and he had all the stuff he needed to do for the bar and so I was helping him out with that on top of my other responsibilities of uh, working full-time and trying to manage my blog and all that fun stuff on the side as oops, as well as uh, we're preparing to move, um, job transitions, planning final details for our trip to Thailand, um, we had family come in, the big grad law school graduation, so life has been really chaotic and pretty much a lot fell to the wayside in the month of April. So I apologize for not uploading anything. Um, and then we were gone for 10 days out of the country in Thailand, which is why I'm like really red and flaky. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that on screen, but if you do, that's why because I got a little sunburnt in Koh Samui. And then I figured, what the heck, I have so many changes going on in my life, why not one more? And so I got a new haircut, and I'm kind of digging it. Like, I like it. It's fun. It's cool. I decided that I, it's still pretty early in May that I wanted to do an April Favorites uh, video, even though it's a little late. Um, so I'm going to just do a quick one and show you some of the different things that I was loving last month. The first item that I have today is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I have seen reviews on this stuff everywhere. Everyone raves about it, they talk about how wonderful it is, and so I decided I had to try it. Um, when I haven't tried a product before and I don't want to spend the money on the full size, I try to find a sample size or a travel size. So this is actually the travel size for the Urban Decay um, All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And I'm just going to tell you right now, I will definitely be buying the full-sized version. This stuff is awesome. Um, not only is it incredibly refreshing when you put it on, it's just a really nice, light, fine mist. You put all your makeup on first, and then this is the finishing step. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Seriously, I feel like I just like came out of a fountain of wonderful refreshness and moisture and um, it really does the job. I mean, it keeps your makeup lasting all night long. I actually, the first time I wore this, I went to an event and I'd had makeup on all day and at the end of the night, someone actually complimented my makeup and usually my makeup has like completely sweat off my face by the end of the night. So the fact that it was still on and looking amazing um, really showed me how amazing this product is. So. Um, if you've thought about trying it, you definitely should. Um, anyone who wears makeup pretty much needs to have this. So, um, love it. Wonderful little magic in a spray bottle. It's wonderful. Go, go try it. All right, the next item that I have are these uh, hand and body lotion wipes with moisturizing coconut milk. It's from a company called Pacifica. I saw this in Ulta and I actually smelt it before I saw it. Um, it was that potent. It's got this just awesome, fresh, tropical scent that like literally come, you can smell it like outside the package when it's not even open. And so I, I had to try it. Um, what I love about these is instead of using like baby wipes or something that's really drying to the skin, this is got like a lotion in it so it moisturizes it and it makes you smell good and so these are just really awesome to have in your car or in your purse and the packaging is adorable. This company is based in Portland and a portion of the proceeds support clean water so I love when I can buy a product that has like a dual purpose that when the company really has a mission and um, so I really have been loving these and it's just a nice little treat and a step up from using baby wipes. So, oh gosh, it smells like heaven. Like I wish, I wish that you could smell it through the computer screen because it's absolutely divine. And just for the smell alone, I just want to bathe in this. Just give myself a nice little wet white bath. That sounds weird. All right, the next item I have, I actually don't know if I've shared these or not, but either way, it's something that I've been loving this past month. They're the NYX Butter Glosses. Um, I'm late on the train with these, but these are just really awesome lip gloss. <laughs> you know, 
know. <laughs> really awesome lip glosses. Um, the payoff of the color is just right. It's not so intense like a lipstick, but it's just a, like the perfect tint and shade of color. Really moisturizing, really glossy. I don't normally like lip glosses, um, but these ones are just really creamy and I don't feel like they're very sticky. So they're very comfortable to wear all day. And um, I have the this one in Sugar Cookie and Maple Blondie. So I've really been loving these colors and I'm definitely going to get more. I have heard that um, these were so popular that NYX created a butter gloss lipstick. And I've actually been trying to find those at Ulta, but the colors I want are always sold out. So that's obviously a good sign. So um, I'm going to get the lip sticks that are in this line and try those sometime and I'll definitely do a review for you. Um, but definitely start with the lip glosses. I've absolutely been loving these. A really great lip gloss to have. My next makeup item I'm so excited about because I've waited a really long time to get this. It is the, bum, ba, da, bum, the Naked Urban Decay Basics. Um, this is one of the Urban Decay Naked palettes. It's the smallest one, which is really great for travel sizing. I'm trying to open it for you. <laughs> Traveling with. Um, they're just really basic colors. There's only one shimmery one for highlighting, and then the rest are just a bunch of really awesome natural matte um, tones. I love using these kinds of shades for everyday makeup. Um, I like to use matte for everyday makeup, and so I've definitely been getting a lot of use out of this palette and is one that I am just so excited that I finally have and definitely would be like my go-to palette to take with me if I'm traveling because it's just so compact and pretty much has everything that you would ever need. Kind of looks like a piano. Kind of looks like a keyboard. I honestly don't know why Urban Decay calls everything naked, but this one actually I feel like deserves the name naked because they're just really simple, nudie, natural, naked-y kind of tones. Naked. Nude. Nakedness. Alright, so now I have some fashion related favorites for you. Something that I have absolutely been loving are the floral maxi dresses and just maxi dresses in general. They're so comfortable and easy and beautiful and I've picked up a few from Forever 21 that I've really been loving and um, I've put these both on the blog recently if you want to see what they look like on. But this is one that I got that I was almost didn't buy and it's like probably my favorite one. It ended up being really pretty on and it's just this gorgeous, I love kind of the chiffony fabric and it's really flowy and just really beautiful and I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. So um, again, if you want to see what it looks like on, because I feel like maxi dresses, they don't look like much on the hanger, but you put them on and you're like, whoa, you just feel like a goddess in maxi dresses. They should just call them goddess dresses. So um, this is one I've been really loving. And then this one, <laughs> Just gonna be totally real with you. Um, I pulled it out of my suitcase because I took it with me to Thailand. I haven't even washed it yet. I wore it a ton. So it's really wrinkly and it honestly smells so bad. It smells like sunscreen and Asia. So, not that Asia smells bad, it's just the combination of like the food with the sunscreen. Anyway, I've been loving this dress. Um, it was just really fun and easy to put on over swimsuits, and it was really breezy since it's really humid there, but it was co it covered me, which I needed because in the temples you have to be modest. So it just kind of fit the bill all around. So if any of you guys are going on vacation or anything like that um, where it's hot and you're going to just be traveling, you want to be comfortable, um, dresses like these just really fit the bill. This is just awesome. So these are both still up on Forever 21's website and um, you guys should definitely check them out. Really affordable, really awesome, a great dress for spring and summer. So those I've been loving. And then the next item that I've been loving is kind of cheesy, but I love it. I saw it at ASOS and I had to have it. It's this cute pink shirt that says mermaid on it. Um, it's kind of got the shell and the starfish like as part of the letters. And I love this because I grew up in San Diego. Um, I grew up on the beach and honestly as a child I would pretend I was a mermaid. Like 
every Saturday we'd go to the beach and I pretended I was a mermaid so I just saw it and I had to have it kind of childhood memories I don't know it, it invoked sweet sweet memories but, but anyway it's an adorable shirt ASOS actually always has really great tees and graphic tees so I recommend checking that out because you might find something you love and then another ASOS item I know I love ASOS um, I, I'll be featuring this on the blog next week, but this skirt, <laughs> let's just take a moment, like a precious moment to soak in the wonderfulness of this. Um, I absolutely love the color with this kind of really cool graphic rose print. Um, it's kind of like, I don't know why I want to say Baroque, because it's not really, but it kind of gives off that vibe, but kind of mixed with like the 1950s. It's an A-line skirt super flattering. I love it. It's great for springtime. Um, super comfy. What is it? It's made out of something really like nice. Like I don't, it doesn't say what it's made out of, but it's kind of just like wearing a quilt, like blanket all day. So comfortable. It's like smooth. I don't know. I just love it. It's kind of got the quilted print in there too. Maybe that's where I'm getting like the quilt vibe, but um, it's adorable. So um, definitely a skirt you should go check out if you're interested. I just, hmm, I get sleep on it right now, just like this. So those were some of my favorites this past month, this crazy, crazy month of April. So um, I apologize for my absence. Not that many of you cared, but um, I will be back. I am back. Um, expect consistent video posting from here on out. <sighs> like twin sisters together in their cute little colors. See you later. Have a good time. Bye.